I was searching for some tutorials. Um, the main source, YouTube. Yeah, my YouTube, channel. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's so amazing with that there is so much of stuff you can actually learn from. Just type in. En la imagen podemos ver al campeón del mundo de calistenia y street workout. El mejor calistenico. El dios de las planchas. Un verdadero ejemplo a seguir. Y a su lado podemos ver a Daniel License. ¿Qué pasa calisténicos? <risa> ¿Qué pasa calisténicos? Estamos aquí con Daniel que está de visita en Tenerife y vamos a hacerle una pequeña entrevista. Voy a intentar hacerle preguntas que creo que les pueden resultar útiles a ustedes para aprender, para conocerlo un poco más y para saber cómo hace él para ser campeón del mundo dos veces. Así que vamos a empezar. Lo voy a hacer en inglés y vamos a meterle subtitulitos. So, Daniels, uh, let's give us a little introduction. Uh, like, who are you? How old are you? Ok, so, my name is Daniels Leisman. I'm 17 years old. I am 17. For all of you people ask me, I'm not 16, 20, 23, 14. I'm 17. Okay. I'm from Riga, Latvia, from Europe, and I am weighing 80 kilos, and my height is almost 180. And um, how long have you been training? I have been training for four and a half years. Four, four, from four to four and a half in the middle. Um, before a street workout, what did you do? Like, did you do something related or? Uh, I did nothing serious. No, nothing basically serious. nothing. Nothing. So you don't have like skills from other things? Uh, not really. But before I started, I was able to do some pull-ups. Some pull-ups. Ten. I think ten. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, how is a regular day of training for you? What do you do when you uh, go to training? Usually, when I go to training, I meet my brothers, we stretch, we talk, and then I start off with dynamics usually. Okay. Some combos. Dynamics and statics, just combos. Uh -huh. Maybe then I practice some new moves, and then I turn on only statics. Only statics. Like only static combos. And then after that, I just kill it with basics. Okay, you kill it with basics. Nice, nice. Uh, do you use any gym training, like weights training or something? Uh, to be honest, I have been to the gym doing weights for like maximum four, five times in my life. In your life? Okay. So oh, yeah. I don't do weights. Sometimes I do weighted calisthenics, but not, not very... more than once a month. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, how did you train? Uh, To learn your statics movement, like your plants, your front lever. Uh, did you do something special, like some routine, or did you just were try, trying, trying? Or? First of all, I was searching for some tutorials. Um, The main source, YouTube. Yeah, it's like my YouTube. channel. Yeah, of course. <laughs> YouTube is so amazing with that. There is so much of stuff you can actually learn from. Just type in plank tutorial. Pick your favorite exercises and do them. It's not like I didn't do anything special. I don't have any special exercises, you know. I just took what I liked the most and I did it. I did it every day, every night, you know. So for the static movements, usually I practice some kind of a routine and I just do it. So it's like basics for planche, basics for front lever, basics for festo, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And uh, for dynamics? What? For dynamics, I just tell myself that fear is just a liar, you know, fear doesn't not exist. That's so, all actually, in your mind. <laughs> but as long as you use your head, you should be alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> When you have a competition, uh, you change your training, you do a special preparation? Or? Uh, usually, before competitions, I don't learn anything new. I strengthen what I already have, so it's less the risk that I will fail at the competition. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. a fail at the competition means a lot. Just what I said in one of my videos, I said exactly that. Don't risk and don't try new things in, in the competition because it's like, uh, like uh, luck. If yes. you are lucky, you get it, but if not... But the other side of this question is like, if you are aiming for the first place, You shouldn't risk it all. 
But if you are a new guy, uh, yeah, yeah. no one recognizes you. Go Man. crazy because <laughs> then everyone's gonna remember you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you if you don't have anything to lose, you can yeah. like if you have nothing to lose, uh -huh. go for it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Which is your favorite favorite uh, movement? Like in one in tension and one in dynamics. In dynamics, I would say is the ganger. Ganger. Oh. Ganger, as, as, as I think is the how you call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in tension, I would say it's one arm front. One arm, <laughs> one arm front lever. <laughs> so, ah, do you have any like special diet or? Something like that? I think no, you don't. <laughs> For what? No, what you're right, I know, I know. Okay. Um, no, but lately I've been trying to focus on what I'm eating because it's yeah. getting too much it's getting here. Too <laughs> but when you were like a kid, uh, did you have, like, did you were skinny or you were yes. fat? Or? When I was younger, I was super skinny. Super skinny. Super skinny. Uh -huh. And so you eat and you get, but if you don't eat a lot, you get skinny again, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Okay. And supplementation? Do you use anything like that? Uh, only pre-workout. Pre-workout. Okay. Like for even pre-workout, it's more here. Here. Yeah. But for every day of training or for just uh, the competition? Pre-workout? No. For competitions, never. Because never. in competition, you have the adrenaline. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, adrenaline yeah. is what helps you. Okay. For trainings, for example, if someone is going to call you before your workout and yeah. say that. Uh, yeah, like I don't know. you can be bored or you can be sad. Yeah, or... like no. For example, if my mom is gonna call me and said that our cat died, yeah, like yeah, something, yeah. something yeah. like that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I get adrenaline, and that is going to push me harder in the yeah, training. Yeah, yeah. I get this yeah, feeling. Yeah. You know? So I, I have had that. Like when I get angry with something, like yes. I, I am mad. Like then I go training and I feel like a yeah, it's yeah. similar. Like you have stress before the exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That before the exam, it's for me a best training because I'm so stressed, I'm full of <laughs> adrenaline. Okay, nice. Which moment do you remember as the greatest in your street workout career, like in your calisthenics? Mm, I remember really good the first time I went to Moscow for the World Championship, it was back in 2014. Because that was my first time ever seeing my idols like in no, real life. No, no. But uh, you didn't win that time. No, no? that time I would say like a place 30 or something 30? like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know that. Another moment I remember is the first time I went to the World Cup. The World Cup Super Final. Super Final. Yeah. That was the first gold medal oh. in the world no, top yeah. competitions. Oh. Right. And where, 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 where was that? It was in Moscow. Was in Moscow as well. Okay. Who do you admire the most, the most in the calisthenics world? The I think the best athlete, the strongest athlete, the most complete athlete is Eric Horty. Eric Horty. He is a huge inspiration to me and as well as Abdullah from Dubai. Even though he is not that complete or that strong, but his style, the, the music he listens to, his videos, his moves, uh, his swag. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, we are maybe we're kind of similar in that way, so that's why he motivates uh, me so much like, oh, okay, okay. with his powerful combos, with his explosiveness. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, amazing. And I want to also mention that when I started. I would say my biggest idol was Nikanismo from Russia. Nikita. Yeah, he was he's legendary. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. With his red pants. <laughs> yeah, 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 red shorts. <laughs> and old okay. School. What do you like to do in your life apart from training and street workout? Uh, sometimes maybe I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but filmmaking uh, and photography takes the First place, the priority. Yeah, I, I can, I can say that. <laughs> like working out is great, but traveling and making films <laughs> together with working out, like if you can combine it all, it's yeah. nothing more I can wish for. So you are happy here, I suppose. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. 
are you a good student? Um, school is necessary, but I, you know, we only can do the things good we like doing. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so you maybe at prefer like self self teaching. Like yes, what you know, you at school know. I usually do. I manage to do the minimum. To finish to everything, finish. To, yeah. to, to, for everything to be okay, because I am never going to. But maybe if you had like photography classes, you will be. Able yes, to that's a different yeah, thing. Yeah. But I'm in that period of school where you have to learn everything, yeah. and that is like I know 100%. I will not need it, and <laughs> if me, I understand that, and it's like I'm not going to write the test no. to the max because. You, see, you don't see. I the, don't the fucking point. care, to yeah. be honest. I don't care. Yeah. You don't see the point in yeah. going for it. You just want to finish it and then do yes, what, yes, what yes. you want. Yes, yes, Okay. Like, I understand it's necessary and I'm gonna do the minimum to finish everything for everything to be okay. So, to finish, I just want you to say some words from your Spanish and Latin American fans. So, maybe shoot out or like. Whatever. I would like to shoot out my good friend Nordin Workout <laughs> who is behind the camera right now. Content life bro. Um, <laughs> and people who is seeing this which is like spies. Uh, uh, everyone watching this remember never give up because you know when I started I didn't even think about being at the top of the world. I just did it because I enjoyed the process, you know? Don't think about being the first, getting like money, getting the business. Just enjoy the process and those things will come along. What, so. what I want to ask a little was, what do you think helped you uh, to become like the best in the world? Like maybe you had uh, genetics, like uh, luck, uh, you had good training partners. What, what, um, how did you do that? <laughs> I think it is super important to be not only the best, but to be charismatic. Oh, very yeah. charismatic because like the show. If, um, yes, exactly. Because if you are going to be just a athlete, uh -huh. and you don't, it's maybe you don't have boring. To style. Yes, you have to be charismatic. So to you, you need to attract people to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. need to have something that people like. people like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. want to see more of that. You know. Yeah. Like maybe try to have your own personality. Yes, your exactly. Own charisma. Okay. Exactly. So I think we can finish with that. Thank you, bro. No problem. And a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you. Calisténicos, les dejo rápidamente una lista de los sitios donde voy a estar en las próximas semanas. Primero en La Palma, en una exhibición. Luego en Madrid, en el Campeonato de España. Y finalmente en Valladolid, voy a ser de juez en una competición de Street Workout. Así que si son de alguna de esas zonas, espero verlos por allí. Un saludo. Calisténicos de la semana.